Hello SEOs, my name is Everett. I am Director of SEO Strategy here at Inflow and today I'm going to show you how to use the Cruft Finder. It's a pretty simple tool. Let's start off with a platform agnostic query. So I'll put in the root domain, in this case we're going to use REI. The platform is uh, a homegrown one, but you can see we also have some queries specific for Magento, Shopify, and WooCommerce. I'll show you some of those in a moment. I like to start with platform agnostic because it really doesn't matter if you're on one of these other platforms or if you have a homegrown solution, this will help you find some of the cruft. Using REI as an example, um, I would want to look at these PHP files. Having had a look, I know that these are catalogs. Some of them are from 2015, 2016, and uh, many of these are paginated catalogs. So the 2017 catalog will have a bunch of different pagination URLs. So the 2015, 2014. And these are the types of pages you would want to remove. PDF files, very similar. Some of them should be indexed, but often what we find are people um, update their site, move to different platforms, and the PDF files just stick around on the server, and a lot of times they can be orphan pages. So you would want to look into that. Internal search results, often these are cruft. Google recommends not allowing them to be indexable, though certainly we've seen situations where uh, some of these do need to be indexable because they get so much traffic. These are interesting. Um, these BV state, BV RRP, this, all of this stuff are from Bizarre Voice. So I'm definitely going to want to have a look at that and see what's going on. <clears throat> okay. What you see here is a Bizarre Voice parameter. They may be trying to handle this in Search Console. I don't know. Um, but. My guess is we've got a rel canonical tag error going on here, or the non-canonical page is being submitted in the sitemap. In this case, we have the canonical error. So this is not the canonical version of this URL. The canonical version is, in fact, this. Same page, different URL. Both of these were indexable. and. Uh, that's how you find cruft. Big opportunity here for REI. Let's go, let's move on to a different site and a different platform. Let's do Magento. Just randomly took a site here off of Built With. Um, before I change this, you see I didn't do it this time, so now it's running all of these queries and wasting resources. If you click reset, now you can put something in here and take your time, come over here and update this. And then when you're ready, click run and you won't be wasting all the resources. So far so good. Okay, looks like contacts and customers. So this is pretty common. A lot of times what we have are people who allow customers to do reviews or allow customers to put in wish lists. Um, things like that, and that's all fine. It's great usability, but they shouldn't be indexed. Um, customer account pages don't need to be indexed. Uh, let's see. Here's one where we have a customer that is reviewing a product. Obviously, the title tag is a little messed up here, too. Um, so this is the product review. This product review also is going to exist on the full list of product reviews for this product. And then some of them will probably exist on the actual product page as well. Here. So we have the same content on three different pages and the Cruft Finder will help us fix that by identifying, okay, this review was left by a customer. The customer should probably not have their own reviews pages uh, indexed in Google. Let's move on to Shopify, another built with site, ducting.com. A lot of times what we'll find on Shopify sites is 
out of the box, they have these types of URLs where the URL string is based on the category. So collections, products tells you that this is a, a URL that's built from a category path. And that's the way Shopify originally had URLs. The actual canonical for this is going to be this URL. So we saw in one example where there was a rel canonical tag that was messed up. I'm not sure that's the case here because um, it's using the, the correct canonical version. However, the noindex tag is commented out. And my guess is that this is happening because these URLs are being submitted in an XML sitemap. The canonical tag is a hint, it's not a directive. And because the directive, in this case, the noindex directive is commented out, we're finding that these non-canonical product pages are being indexed even though they have a canonical tag referencing a different page. Let's, let's go to WooCommerce um, quickly. These are going to have the same problems as pretty much any WordPress site. And a lot of times that boils down to tag pages, archive pages, uh, attachment URLs, and things like that. At least they deleted their Hello World post. That is a lot of tag pages. The content on these pages will be duplicated on category pages. It will be duplicated on the actual post pages, which in this case is probably some uh, sort of report product. So there's no reason for these to be indexed. This should be this this page should be um, followable, but not indexable. And these are attachments. So there's an option in WordPress that allows you to redirect these pages to the page, to the URL on which the attachment was placed. Otherwise, um, you basically just have a search result that is nothing but a page with one image on it. You'd want the image itself, which is here, to be indexable, but this page is nothing but a shell where the image is placed on, and uh, that should not be indexable. There are many other opportunities here, going through archive URLs to find old posts uh, that uh, maybe just aren't updated anymore, that people aren't searching for. This is also just the place to start. Sometimes you might find some false positive in these reports. I would not recommend just taking all of the URLs from these reports and, for instance, no indexing them. That's not what uh, this tool is meant for. It's a research tool, and it's here to help you get started finding the craft. The next step is to decide what to do about it. Do you use a robots.txt file? Do you use a robots meta tag or X robots? Is it followable or not? Will a rel canonical tag take care of it? Are these non-canonical pages in the XML sitemap? So on and so forth. So pay attention to the info blog in the coming um, weeks and months, and we'll be sharing some more great content about how to decide what to do with these URLs when you find them. Thanks, and please share.